Attack of the Southern Fried Zombies. Exactly what you think it is. It's these rednecks and very attractive people fighting off zombies in Charleston, Mississippi. That's basically what it is. This movie is really, really bad. There's only one name on the back that I actually recognize, and that's uh, Mark Newton. I've seen one other film by him. I can't remember what it is. Either he starred in it, wrote it, or directed it. I don't know. I know I've heard of the name Mark Newton. <sighs> this movie is gory. Yes. Is it fun? Somewhat. Uh, after you get past the 15-minute uh, mark, you're just bored. You're sitting there bored out of your damn mind. The gore does get old after a while. When you first see the gore, you're like, oh, that's cool! And then they entice you, try and entice you, by two lesbians making out and, and a tit here and there. Your normal straight-to-DVD zombie horror film. But most of them aren't this bad. Why is this one bad? Because you're expecting a really gory film. Um, and, and it is gory, but when you're expecting gory, you're expecting fun, scares. From a zombie movie, you're not going to get scares. You're, you're going to get gore. I mean, my God, look at that right there. Sorry if that was too much for some people, but this movie is just bad. Not much more I can say. The acting is bad. You can tell that these two girls just don't enjoy what they're doing. These two girls right here don't enjoy what they're doing in the film. They're just there because it's a paycheck. And they're just there because the uh, director of this film didn't even have them audition. He probably knew them. Knew that they were two friends. And... He said, hey, you want to make a couple hundred bucks? Maybe make a thousand dollars? Okay, just sit there, look hot, and make out with each other. You pull down her top and expose her boob. That's basically what these two actresses are there for. And to scream and get eaten. Your typical zombie horror film, Hot Girls That Can't Act, which means nothing. Gore out the wazoo, which the gore gets boring after the first 15 minutes, and unsurprising, or not surprising anymore, and just all around bad. Attack of the Southern Fried Zombies is a big letdown. I wanted a fun zombie action horror film. I didn't get that. I'm going to give this film an F. I got a load of reviews coming to you guys. As well as uh, a Blu-ray DVD update. So, let's get right into what is coming up. Annabelle Hooper and the Ghosts of Nantucket. A few parents have been asking me, where's that review? I had to wait for it to come into my library. Because I wasn't going to go down to Family Video and waste three bucks. I don't got my half off anymore. This one I've been waiting for for about a month, month and a half. That's the Clapper. Amanda Seyfried. Mm. I mean, my God. Just Amanda Seyfried. <laughs> Ed Helms is okay, but Amanda Seyfried and Tracy Morgan. You can't help but want to see it. A film I missed last year, which I'm really upset about because my local theater didn't get it in, and my family video did not get it in. And that is Patty Cakes. Um, this Jersey girl wants to become a rapper. That's pretty much it. Basmati Blues. I saw the trailer for it. I wanted to see it. Waited for it for a good month. Two months. Two months. 
saw the trailer for it. It came to theaters very, very limitedly. I didn't want to spend six ninety nine on it, so I just waited a couple months and waited for the Blu-ray to come out. Think Like a Man and Think Like a Man 2. These are two movies that I completely forgot about until I saw Jumanji and Kevin Hart has a new film coming out really, really soon called Night School with him and Tiffany Haddish, which that looks great. I think it's going to be so much fun to sit there and just enjoy him screaming and Think like a man, good God, gorgeous women everywhere, Megan Good, Regina Hall, and Taraji P. Henson. Also, Gabrielle Union's in this film, so, mm. you got some good male actors, but to be honest, I'm watching it for Gabrielle Union, Taraji P. Henson, Megan Good, and Regina Hall. I'm hoping Kevin Hart does not get annoying like he uh, has been in a few of his other comedies. Two new ones. Batman Ninja. Didn't get the chance to go down and rent this. Uh, I went down there the day it came out. Someone had already gotten the one Blu-ray in and the one DVD that they got in and rented them out. Tried to go in later that week. Every single day I went in there, it just wasn't in there. This one came out this past week, and this is a newer kids film called Pause P.I. This will be fun, I guess. Um, I'm, a, I'm just expecting a fun, fluffy family action comedy film. And I'm hoping that's what I get. Uh, stay tuned for my next video, which will be a DVD Blu-ray update, 11 films for 50 cents at my local library store and yeah so you can expect reviews for all of these really really soon and i cannot wait to watch these two films tonight